and we're back to learning Premiere Pro and this time I'm going to show you how to create a bar transition. I've seen this transition in many variations. I'll quickly go over the process and then you can adjust it yourself. So I've got these two clips right here. And we're going to place the bar transition on top. What we need first, right click in your projects menu, new item and we'll use a color matte element. By default it has the same size as your sequence but you can adjust it here on a width and height. I'll just click on OK and then I'll put it in my timeline. And I'll put it on top of the transition. So there's just a black clip and then underneath it we've got the simple jump cut. We need the effect controls and later on the effects. You will find that under window if you can't see it. We've got the black element so the color matte element active and we'll go to the position for it. Let's go somewhere to the start right here. And then I put it via position on top so that we can't see it. I move forward, but I'm still before the cut, so before the jump cut down here. And I create a new keyframe. And now I'll put it in the frame. For me it's 540 as a value. So my screen is fully black. Now I move forward and this time I'm after the jump cut beneath, create a new keyframe, move forward once again, new keyframe and then put it below our screen. Let me just roll the clip. So the color mat moves in blocks the screen and then it moves down and we can adjust the speed of it and the position by rearranging these keyframes. But make sure that you always have the jump cut beneath where the color mat is on top of the screen. So that's the important step here. Let me crop it. I'll just drag and drop a crop effect on top of it. And let me also add a tint, in case you might want to use a different color than black. But let us go first to the cropping, and I use 75% for right, so that I've got a quarter to the left covered by it. And all we have to do now is to hold Alt and drag a copy on top. But let us just change the color. For example, map the black to red, and we'll start with that. And now I simply hold Alt and drag copies of this element, so this color mat, on top. And I only have to change the color via the tint, so map to, and then we adjust the cropping. As I've used the quarter, I'll use 25% for each. So for right, I have to go down every step, 25%, and for left, I have to go up. The final one has 75% for left and 0 for right, and it covers the entire screen now. So the tint step is it's optional, you don't have to do this. I like to keep it black, but in case you want to use it, you can add that like this. And now all we have to do is to reposition these elements down here in our timeline, and this makes these bars move in and out individually, just like this. You have to be careful with the placement of these elements. You can see that right here. So the bar hasn't covered the screen, but we already have the jump cut below. So you definitely want to avoid that. Just rearrange these elements in your timeline down here. Let us roll the clip again, and this time it's all covered well.
It's a good idea to just select them all and right click and nest it. That way your timeline is much cleaner, but it doesn't change anything for the effect. But this is how you can create such a bar transition in Premiere Pro. I hope this video was helpful, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.